Happy Easter weekend, friends. I have a couple thoughts for you, and I just did a longer live over in the bot group, so go scope that. If you're in that group, you can still join the group. Come on, let's go. So number one, it's Easter weekend, and if you are like me, sometimes it can be a slippery slope, right? You open the Cadbury mini eggs, and before you know it, you've eaten the whole bag, and then because you've eaten the bag, you might as well eat all the other things. So first of all, I want you to have fun this weekend. I want you to live your life. I want you to play with your kids. I want you to eat the treats. I want you to not be so consumed with like, oh my gosh, I've eaten this. So I need to behave a certain way or I need to modify my workouts or I have to make up for it next week. None of that exists here. Okay. This is all about reminding yourself that it's just one day at a time and one day isn't going to undo any of your progress. One day doesn't have to roll into two days or a week or anything more unless you allow it to. So Number one, it's a mindset shift. It's a focus of I'm going to be present and I'm gonna have this treat and I'm gonna enjoy this treat without it becoming this big dramatic thing. If you struggle with that, this is a trick that has helped me is to break my day into quadrants or half, right? So maybe you, you have the thing, you know, you have a big Easter brunch and you have cinnamon rolls and you eat the candy and all the things if you struggle with this, this mindset where it's going to bleed into the rest of the day, you can break it into a quadrant and be like, I had my fun. I had my treats. It was awesome for this quarter of the day. And then the other three quarters or the other half of the day, you're drinking your water and you're eating some vegetables and you're moving your body and you're prioritizing that. Okay. That's helped me a lot so that, especially if there's shame or guilt or overthinking around food, this is something I think you should try. And I also wanna remind you that just because it's there doesn't mean you have to have it. And I think in our culture, we really link days and events with food and something else that I have to remind myself of at times is that I'm not a dog. I'm not a dog. I don't have to reward myself with a treat. And this has been hard because I feel like I do it a lot with my kids. Like we're just hardwired. Oh, you had a hard day. Let's have a treat. Or, oh, let's celebrate. Let's go get a treat. But we're not dogs, okay? We can sub those treats for experiences and like, let's go do this fun thing together or let's make a memory together. Or, let's go for a walk and go on the swings. Like it's just about those little tiny shifts that sometimes we just have to become conscious of, okay? All right, so I hope you have the chocolate and I hope you still move your body. It's never an all or nothing. Even if you're super slammed for time, you can still find five minutes today and tomorrow to move your to move your body, to show up to your journey, to honor your promise. And I'm telling you as someone who was a chronic quitter, that that was such a game changer for me, making it a non-negotiable, that no matter what, even on my rest days, I was still gonna hold space for myself and I was gonna show up to that promise and at least touch it. Even, even if it's for literally two minutes getting out of bed and doing some squats or whatever, that has really helped me so much with my mindset. Because at the end of the day, this all comes back to mindset. This comes back to whether or not you're gonna, you're gonna honor your promise to yourself. It's never perfection. It's never all or nothing. It's never, I'm gonna have all the treats or I'm gonna have none. Those, that's like, it doesn't feel good to live in either of those black or whites, okay? so. Live in the gray this weekend, be okay with it, and try that quadrant tip if you, struggle, like me, struggle with, you know, the train just kind of going off the tracks and then it bleeds into another day. It doesn't have to, it's just a day, okay? Just a day, so have some fun with it. Second thing is, I'm finishing 6.45 this weekend and I want to remind you that you're, you're allowed and encouraged to change your mind, to change your opinion, to try on different things and see if it serves you. So when 6.45 first came out, I had a case of the FOMO, just like some of you might have a case of the FOMO with 21 Day Fix or any of the other new sparkly things. And I had a bunch of girls doing it, so I started 6.45, um, and I hated it. I hated it. I didn't even make it past my first week. It was too long, it was too slow, the pace wasn't right, there was too much talking, and it became something where showing up to my workout was something I was dreading. And if you're new and you're getting on track, showing up to your workout is probably already gonna be something that's challenging enough. So I'm encouraging you to step out of the circle for a minute, get let go of the FOMO, what everyone else is doing, and ask yourself, what do I need? Do I need to go for walks? Do I need to work on cycling? Do I want to focus on stretch or yoga or my breath? Find what feels good to you and go in with that on Monday. Like you don't have to do the same thing. 
on the flip side of that, if in the past you've done a different autumn program or you did 21 day fix or something before and you didn't like it, it felt like nails on a chalkboard, I'm challenging you to challenge that thought because like me, when I did 645 the first time I hated it, it wasn't for me. I put it back on the shelf and I'm not gonna lie to you, I felt a little shamey that I didn't like it, everyone else did, but it wasn't what I needed. So I put it back on the shelf and then here we are like a year and a half later or whatever, I came back to it and it was exactly what I needed. It was exactly what I needed. But if I had allowed my first impression to determine what I was gonna do and what was I was gonna have success with, you're not gonna find a lot of wins that way, okay? So allow yourself the space to try something new that you have prejudged in the past or that you tried once upon a time and maybe you didn't like it or maybe it was too challenging or maybe they talked too much and see what you think. I did, I'm doing six for, finishing 6.45 this weekend and that I didn't make it through that first week when I tried it the first time and now I'm sad. I feel like I'm gonna be leaving friends behind. Like I'm like, I've been doing this program for, I don't know, 15 weeks now, maybe longer. I can't imagine doing a workout without a Moala. Doesn't mean I wanna do it again. I'm so excited to be finishing it, but it just goes to show that if you always allow your first impression to make the determination, you're gonna miss out on a lot of growth and a lot of opportunity. And again, it's your imperfectly perfect journey. It's a holistic experience. So what do you need? What will bring you joy? What super trainer speaks life into you? Maybe it's Sean T or maybe it's Shailene Johnson or maybe it's Lacey. Like there's so many options. So don't put yourself in a corner or a shoebox and be like, this is the way it has to be because everyone else is doing it or this is the way I did in the past. You were allowed to pivot. You were allowed to change your mind. You were allowed to try something new. You're allowed to be a beginner again and again as many times as it takes. There's never mastery with this, ever, because we're all works in progress. We're always leveling up our lives and our journeys, and that's what I love most about it, is that the more you can become a beginner and the more you show up to it with that kind of open-hearted attitude, the more you're gonna get out of it. And I want you to feel good. I want you to feel proud. It's not just about your before and after photos. It is about who you become along the way and changing that self-talk and building that belief, okay? So I'm gonna be uploading a couple things in here. I'm uploading a lot of stuff, more stuff over in VOD groups. If you need anything, you're gonna message me and I will get back to you this weekend. You're always welcome to text me. Um, but have the fun, eat the chocolate, do the things, make the memories. And if, you're, if you are in your life this weekend and you're like, it's hard to get down on the ground with my kids or I'm out of breath, there's no need to have shame or judgment around that, but there is need to use that as your gut nudge to do something different and to pivot and to realign and recommit. And that doesn't mean that you failed. It doesn't mean you suck. It doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you other than the fact that you are a work in progress and an imperfect human. Welcome to the club, okay? Stop making excuses. We prioritize what is actually important to us. And so if it's important to you to feel good in your body and to be able to not be out of breath and to be in the moment with your family, then that's the work we need to do. That's the work we get to do. This is never a journey of obligation and have tos. This is, this is a journey of growth and curiosity and exploration and next leveling your life. You don't need to have shame. You don't need to feel bad. You just need to realign and recommit and pivot and be open to changing your mind over and over and over. You guys, that's where the magic is. That's where all the shifts come and that's where you see the physical results when you trust that process and you just do the next right thing and you make a pivot and you change your mind and you change your opinion and you try something different, okay? So 21 day fix, a bunch of the girls have already started but I am starting on Monday and you are invited to do it with me. If you don't have body and you're not doing the super block, I'm encouraging you to do it. I think it's gonna be super fun, totally different than it has been in the past, but that doesn't mean that you can talk yourself out of it. You can still find a way to make this work. Even if you have old school DVDs, you can make that work. I'm asking you to just commit to the journey and look alive in the group to share your journey, to share your wins so that you build your own belief, but you also show up for other people to create that accountability. Because when we get in the middle of the bed, it's an entirely different experience than staying over here and just being a stalker on the phone, just being quiet. Because when you only make a promise to yourself, it's really easy to quit on yourself versus making a promise out loud where you have skin in the game and you 
get the momentum and you collect your wins. That's what we're here for. We're not here for a number or a size or even how quickly we get through the program where you're just here to be works in progress, imperfect works in progress that collect our wins every single day, that honor the promise that we're making, that do our best and surrender the rest. That's the beauty of this. That is the beauty of this. And if you lean into that with me, I guarantee that you will have epic and amazing results. Inside, outside, all the things matter, right? Right. Okay, if you need anything, let me know. I am gonna get off here and I'm gonna jump into my messenger for probably the next 20 minutes. And then I might be on again tomorrow, but Monday, we start Monday, a fresh day one, a new opportunity to begin again. If you already started something this last week or the week before, guess what? Every single day is a perfect new opportunity to realign and to refocus, to begin again. Doesn't mean you need a, a day one or a fresh program. You can realign and recommit every single day that you choose to show up. Because every single day that you choose to show up, every single day that you choose to prioritize this and keep your promise, it is a day that you're filling your own bucket, that you're pouring into yourself, that you're choosing to prioritize the stuff. And you guys, I know it's real easy as moms and wives to put yourself at the bottom of the barrel and to talk yourself out of it and to say, this is selfish, or I don't need to do that, or I could figure it out for free, or what's wrong with me. None of that serves you, okay? So just do the next right thing. Believe in yourself. Take the freaking action. If it's important, we figure it out. Five minutes is still a win. Hear me in your head. Five minutes is still a thing, still a win. You don't have to do all the things starting Monday. You can build and block these in. You can layer it in because that's what we're here for. We're here to just, you know, build and block the journey and be super proud and collect all the wins and live our lives, okay? So eat some chocolate tomorrow, have the cinnamon roll, move your body. All the things can exist at the same time.